much fun. Now, later, Lucas is going to be back showing us more wearable technology, including how cinema is transforming with Oculus Rift from the big screen right onto your face. Okay, coming up, pruny hands aren't the only perils of a 51-hour scuba dive. If you don't have the proper gear, you would die from hypothermia. That's next. Right now, though, an amazing feat, but also an unusual one. We're talking about a man called The Grouper and his attempt to regain one very wrinkly world record. Fort Lauderdale by the sea. A quiet morning. But what lies beneath? For two days, this man has been submerged underwater to reclaim something that he lost. It's not a phone or a wedding ring. Almost a year ago, Alan the Grouper Sherrod lost the Guinness World Record for the longest open saltwater dive. And today, after more than 48 hours at the bottom of the sea, Alan is on the verge of reclaiming his title once again. 49 hours right now, right? 50. Yeah. He's shooting for 51. How do you feel that? Like? You're, you're pretty beat up. As you can see, he developed a few little rashes. Uh, but overall, I think you'll be okay. Originally, Alan's goal was to best the previous record of 49 hours and 36 minutes by staying down for 55 hours. But, with the record clinched, Alan makes the decision not to prolong his discomfort any longer. Alan emerges with a new world record. 51 hours, 4 minutes, and 28 seconds. I gotta get, I gotta get wet again. <laughs> I feel I'm the only one in the world that has done that. <laughs> I feel great. Your competition when you do something like this is you yourself. It does make you crazy. You have to overcome that. Even with people all around you, it's a total isolation like you've never experienced before. To be the only one in the world at this point in time that's ever stayed submerged in the ocean for 51 hours, I feel really good about it. I mean, I was submerged in 80-something degree water with your head under like that. If you don't have the proper gear, you would die from hypothermia. When you're down in the water like that, you develop fatigue, and the excitement, though, brought me back out of it, and I felt very good. I could actually move around a lot better than I thought I would. I had a little water in the suit. Well, there's rubber hoses and things in the, inside the dry suit, and I started getting chafed a little early on, and I'm like, I can, I've, I've made the record. I don't need to just make this worse and worse. Technology played a major role in helping Alan pass the time. Good. Almost done. Almost, my friend. What I invented is called Skull, self-contained underwater loudspeaker. A diver can wear this unit and talk through the full face mask and it broadcasts the sound directly in the water. So every diver can basically hear him. He doesn't require an additional earpiece. Using the Skull's unit, he actually listens to music. Alan began experiencing skin irritation around his face mask, rendering him unable to demonstrate the skulls unit. But with normal usage, Alan hopes his device will help to save lives. I saw the real need to direct people underwater that didn't have a mask on, so there was no way to get them to be able to communicate. So by using this, I was able to talk, they were able to hear me, and they were able to do what I commanded them to do underwater. Another life-changing moment? Renewing his wedding vows at the bottom of the sea the previous day. The highlight of this dive was being able to get married to my one and only mermaid love, Barbara. The tail got him, it always does. <laughs> Every moment was a highlight, but I think we all felt pretty special with the wedding. The mermaid that I married is one of my very bestest friends, and the two people that love the water as much as we do, we could not be together. There's nothing better than true love. True love under the sea. So wonderful. Did you see his hands? Yeah, I know. Kind of worse than, like, my hands in a bathtub after 30 minutes. Well, really cool. Yeah, it was like being in a bathtub for two straight days. Now, the interesting thing about wrinkly fingers, which we've all come in contact with, yep. is that apparently it has something to do... Everybody thinks it's, like, just passive that your fingers absorb water, but yep. 
If you have nerve damage to your hand, they won't wrinkle up like that. But the strange thing, too, though, is researchers have looked at corpses and dead bodies, and they do also tend to wrinkle up at the same rate that live persons' bodies do as well. So there's a bit of mystery behind the pruning. It's weird. Mm, certainly is. Anyway, either way, Alan is a grouper trooper. And for a link to the amazing range of devices that he used to assist in his record-breaking dive, head to our website, discovery.ca slash daily planet.